what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have confirmation that sydney craven will be playing the lead role in jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers 4 the actor or the actress rather will be playing the character of lane that we know is going to be she's going to be one half of this couple chase and lane who are going to be traveling to the horror hound festival in louisiana and she starts having premonitions about the creeper and then yeah the film will progress from there so in the past i've just basically been saying that it looks like she's going to be in the film we haven't had any official image of her in this movie until today uh over the past couple of days one of the directors of photography that were involved with the with the film one of the cinematographers simon rowling he's been he's added a little uh highlight section to his instagram stories uh, highlights related to jeepers creepers and i'll leave a link to his instagram page in the uh, description or the comment section and he basically has highlighted and shared some images of cameras that were used i guess on the film he shared shots of the green screen shots of the night shoot shots of other aspects of the film shots of them at the horror hound festival shots of the two versions of the pennywise clown that are going to be featured in the movie again confirming and reassuring our hunch that this movie will finally be picking up 23 years later in the year 2024 and he had an image he shared of Sidney Craven in character as Lane and he also shared an image of Imran Adams in the film as well now the image he shared of Sidney Craven it had over it with and again this is why I I implore all of you to look at his Instagram story it literally says lead actress that's what it says so that's the confirmation that she is going to be the lead actress she is the one playing chase or not playing chase but playing lane in the film and here is the image that he has shared now what i can say already off the bat i like the way this movie seems like it's going to be looking looks like it's going to be a lot more darker in tone it looks like it's going to have some sort of tension to it because that was void in jeepers creepers 3 jeepers creepers 3 had no in type no type of intensity to it whatsoever nothing that would get under your nerve get under your skin or anything that would make you un uneasy or any type of tension it was all void of that and we see she's knelt down in what looks like i guess what will be the creepers layer in the film so it looks like she'll end up being caught in the creepers layer and if, of course we're going to have to assume that this is going to be some location at the horror hound festival that the creeper is going to end up using as his layer throughout the film the other thing i'm going to talk about really quick coming up is we've seen to have found out who is going to be one of these fan favorites not saying that this is who they're talking about but this could be one of the fan favorites that we could expect in jeepers creepers 4 it looks like we have a fan favorite actress who was going to be participating in the film but i'll get to that in a second because again beforehand going back to sydney craven all i really had to share was things that i saw on her spotlight page announcing her participation in the, in a movie titled going places which i told you guys was the working title for jeepers creepers were born then she had this instagram image where she shared that's a wrap but that image we saw previously just a few moments ago that was our first shot of her in the actual movie itself there are other images though that were sent to me today of her in this movie so if you guys want to see those because i'm not sharing sharing those here these images are coming from what looks like a little crew member only viewing of this film it looks like all the crew members got together timo himself looks like he's there and they're watching the final cut or watching i guess a rough draft maybe or the final product of jeepers creepers reborn and then getting into the actress who is going to be in jeepers creepers reborn who could be one of the fan favorites d wallace yes d wallace the mother from et and the mother from rob zombies halloween she played Lori strode's mom in that film she looks like she's going to be participating in jeepers creepers 4 the images again of the crew member screening or the crew members watching what is looking like it's jeepers creepers 4 d wallace is on screen she's on screen in a what looks like a car with another gentleman next to her and they are driving to some location it looks like she is caught off guard by something or she's a little concerned about something she's staring off into the distance and again if you want to see this image just message me on twitter instagram just message me and i'll, I'll show you guys the image uh but yeah d wallace i'm gonna go out and assume she is one half of that old couple who i again have made a video talking about that who are going to one half of the old couple that are going to come across the creeper using some farmhouse as a layer and they find these uns, unspeakable horrors and they're never heard from again because remember i made a video talking about that too 
I think she's going to be playing one half of that old couple. And I think she is one of the fan favorites that they were talking about. That doesn't mean that she is. There could be other people that they were talking about, such as a Gina Phillips or a Ray Wise. But we know that D, D. Wallace will be in Jeepers Creepers Reborn, or at least uh, it looks like she will be. If the images that were sent to me are truthfully from a crew member screening of Jeepers Creepers 4, because you, if you, once you see these images, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It looks like Timo and other people are sitting down and they're watching the final product. And there's actually an image of D Wallace and an older gentleman next to her driving in a car. D Wallace looks like she has been caught off guard by something that she notices. And again, I think she's playing one half of the old couple that are going to be factored into the opening of the film. So the other thing I wanted to talk about, again, this goes back to that screening that apparently happened for the crew members or that they had to watch the final product of the film. Uh, Imran Adams, Imran Adams. I've talked about him being in this film. We know he's a young uh, black actor. He's going to be in this film. The role that he looks to be playing is Chase. Because remember, Chase and Lane, those are going to be, that's going to be the couple that's at the center of this film. We know Lane is going to be played by Sidney Craven, but now it looks like Chase is going to be played by Imran Adams because there is an image that showed Sidney Craven and Imran Adams in a car together. That's not to say that Sidney Craven's character can't get in the car with another person in the film, but if you're coming to a horror hound festival with your boyfriend, of course there might be a scene with you two in the car. And judging from the fact that Imran Adams seems to be the individual in the image with her, it's safe to assume that he's going to be playing the character of Chase. He's going to be the horror freak and the horror obsessed nerd that drags his girlfriend to this event in Louisiana. So that's what it looks like his role will be and i i just also noticed this this is kind of like a slight homage i don't know if this is intentionally being done or if this is just by chance that's a slight homage to the interracial couple of kenny and darla that has been talked about throughout the franchise or throughout the the, the original trilogy trilogy anyway uh especially the first film that interracial couple that was that was a that were victims of the creeper back in 1978 in wheaton valley uh after their high school prom but let me know what you guys think about all this. What do you think about D. Wallace participating in this film? I think that's a very big deal. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. And what are you looking forward to from this movie? If you haven't already, make sure you again subscribe. Turn on post notifications. and never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And again, guys, message me on Instagram or Twitter if you want to see these images that I'm talking about. To see D. Wallace and that other person. With all that in mind, guys. I will see you in the next video.